Well, that was easy, but you know what's easier? Trading your skins at tradeskinsfast.com. It's a little bit interesting. Let's see if Fursbro can actually hold this. They're going to send Olofmeister in first. Flashed up first man down. Will be Neo. Pasha fell as well. And that's mid-open. There was one more man a little bit close by, but they've already fallen off. It doesn't matter. Yep. If Nico can deliver, though, he's made it through door. He's looking to try and tip the scales, and he has. That's maybe a route towards a open. Flash comes in, but his teammate falls. It's just him now. It's just Nico in a 1v2. He does have the bomb. No utility. Nothing to really play with. Takes the fight on the first. He wins it. Time is ticking, though. It's dwindling. Bomb will be planted, and Taz can't stop this. Molly goes in, but it's late. And now Nico is loose, and that's one thing you do not oh. want to see. Nico, what an animal. So, bomb planted, at least. That's that's all something. It might bring the Glocks to bear. Maybe give them a chance in this, but turning attention, Guardian finds the time to strike, and another one comes. And now Neo might be able to get played in. That's good. Bomb now planted. Time ticks in their favor, but Guardian round the back, and they claim one, and it's just down to Taz. Oh, this is going to be very, very difficult. For that kill, he's at a headshot angle. He's actually struggling with it. Guardian's creeping up. He's going to get taken out. Can Taz do it? The in-game leader, he goes for the peek, and he's not prepared for Nico. As said, one player has a good round. It can all fall apart, and the one man you don't want to meet at the moment is Rain. Already going to find one. He's waiting. If he peeks back up, he could be in trouble, but no! He gets away scot free. Rain again! And actually, it's all phase. Three kills quickly coming out, a fourth added in, and this round is already over. Virtus Pro have been able to do nothing on this T side. It's been aggression at all the right moments for phase, and they shut Virtus Pro down. A rough showing to start ESL 1. And that bomb, it's on Nico right now. Let's see where he plants. Eight seconds bomb going in. He needs support, he needs a covering fire. Rain just unleashes Fury. Glaive is there though. Oh, Nico needs to be absolutely precise, and he is! That's Nico! Be able to slow them down. They take the wind out of their cells, at least for now. Let's see if they keep this pace up, and they do. The flash is great again. Catches device completely out, and Nico just brings the fire. Listen, if you're phase, once you get Guardian and Pit with an AWP, you got to be so happy. He can peek out at will. Unfortunately, doesn't find the timing. There it is. The peek. He grabs Glaive. One on one, up versus up. It's device who's got to be quick, and he has no kit. I think it's already over, and Guardian closes it. He seals the deal. It's five to one. And Slink back in this very passive manner. Rain will be watching for this push out. He does have support from Pit, so he's not completely isolated. And this crossfire is so damn good. It does not move an inch. And there it is. Phase pick up the game 16 to 6. It is our second semi-final, vying for a place in the final tomorrow to win this trophy behind me and be called the ESL1 champions. Our first team, a little while ago I called them an absolute band of rock stars. With the roster change recently, they're now a super group. They're like the Beatles and the Stones in one. They're very new though, a very new team. Will they put it together here? We're about to find out. Please, New York, put your hands together for FAZE! Here we go. You can hear the battle horn. We're ready to get into it. Brooklyn, are you ready? The world certainly will be watching as these two absolutely scrap it out here. From this time, have a little look. There's no kits up right now for FaZe as well. They've got to go in. Tarek buying time. Nico closing in though. Second by second, he gets closer and he pounces. Down to Rush now in the 1v2 and there he goes. Right back in they go and it's rain. This could work brilliantly if the flashbangs are perfect. They can get into this site. One gets passed. Will the second fare so well? There's the shutdown coming in. Two back to back, but Tarek is still trying to do what he can. But they're playing chicken with a fox. That's a dangerous game. But rain is the one to keep this one in check for the phase side. As now we look to see the bomb to be planted soon. 30 seconds remain. Olaf Meister. Lingers around the corner. Rush. You can't tempt these guys. Olofmeister is just too quick on the trigger, and now it's automatic in the 1v2. Gets the bomb down, but the time might be off. Oh, a great shot on the first, but Reigns... There's still three players alive for FaZe, and they can do some work. Guardian's on site. You still have Reign there as well. Bomb in the hands of this man. Skadoodle has to be careful. The timing. It's got to hurt. Now it's Tarek. The 1v2. One minute left. But look at the bomb. And look at that. Guardian gonna find the it's entirely Olaf face. Meister. Olaf's in a great position. <gasps> He's a genius. He's a god. And that's Olaf Meister again. Just absolutely bring them down. Biding his time. 
Might not even find the second kill, but he's brought enough time for the other to get over here. Automatic's gonna try and do something exceptional! Two! I almost believed in the- This is still possible. It's doable. Guardian's low. He's behind Fetch. They can clear up. There's the smoke down. Guardian's made his presence known. He gets one kill. Stewie, they still can't hit him. He's only got seven HP. Automatic does get right in there. He's finally taken down. They have to get on the smoke. Nico's here with the knife. He's stabbing away. It's not happening. It's doing the damage. But Conrad, no, it's gonna blow! They have all the time in the world, and even though Stewie has the bomb, with this flank coming in, they know they just have to be patient. He's got, he has to choose somewhere to get aggressive. He can't just sit here. He's going to lose no matter what. So he has to pick a fight to take right now if he wants a chance of bringing Cloud9 forward into this half. There it is. And range just slides around the corner and ends it quickly. Clinical from FaZe. Nico's gonna be the one pressuring. Here he comes, and actually gonna fall right back with it, but it's rain from the other angle. Two kills. All of a sudden, Cloud9 on the back foot. It, it didn't even look like they wanted to commit to it. Looks like they wanted to fall away. It's a good thing they didn't, because they have demolished this defense. Scooter will be forced back behind the smoke, and all of his teammates are dead. They just get around the corner. Look at Kerrigan, he's just pushing forward again to no respect. Scooter, you gotta turn around. You have that AWP. Stewie just taking the initial pick, and he's just getting wrapped. He has nothing. I don't know if he couldn't hear it, but Kerrigan just doesn't slow down and the eight bomb site is over again. This is just a stomping. Yeah, it really is. This is this is pretty brutal so far. Carrick now starts to look around. Guardian falling back to those stairs he's known for. And Olaf Meister holding that nice off angle. Just pointing that back across there. Punishes Tarek on the way through. It's just down a rush here. Did well before, but he's got to do better now. Two players down his way and they are legends of their own kind. And Guardian reminds him why this Lane gonna be the first one of it. He's been so stellar. There's no stopping him. He doesn't miss a beat. Great headshot on Tarek. Now he gets aggressive, but Kerrigan takes it up for him. And actually, it's all the kills coming in so quickly. Phase Clan. This is the trophy they are playing for. The lion's share is what they'll get of that if they take this title. So then, who's ready to meet the teams? I said, who's ready to meet the teams? Then New York, let us do that. So please welcome to the stage the first of your grand finalists. That is FaZe! All-Stars of FaZe Clan versus North America's very own Team Liquid. And they did have some very disappointing maps, so hopefully they can keep it together. And it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, yes. It's time, FaZe Clan versus Liquid. Best of five grand final here still here still won New York. It's gonna be absolutely electrifying. Make some noise as we get into a Team Liquid on the T side, FaZe Clan CT. We Nitro chiming in, and now we've got a chance to lead joins him. Joins him, JDM finds Olaf, so give them the space, and apparently Liquid are happy to take it. They'll walk into the A site, get a plant. They went passive. It costs them the smoke down early, but it'll hold off Kerrigan and Nitro for a moment longer. Or rather, excuse me, Nico. Kerrigan without the armor. Can't take straight duels. Nico needs to be the first in. More aggressive, and with shots of accuracy, he finds Nitro. Kerrigan gets the shot of range against JDM. Oh! In it. All of them heading towards Banana now with that double offset, that twist towards the apartments. And Nitro, let's see what you got through the wall. And it was Stannis Law that did indeed stab JDM. That's confirmed. The assist comes in, and that's actually, it would have been a headshot. It would have killed him regardless, I think, but still, it's, it does wreck the confidence of the star, right? You think, well, I can't be as aggressive, any, aggressive anymore. One nade will kill me. Well, so this is confirmed. And more so when you're down 06, you're right. One nade has to play yeah. a little bit differently, but it's just the frustration of already struggling to get into the game and then silly, kind of avoidable. Nico, it's not the site finds two before Stan does respond his first kill in the game and he'll start to clear the site out as well but has to be a little bit better at holding off for his teammates he's gonna go for the desperate bomb plant at a one versus four and deny towards second middle as well JDM has spotted him low HP for Nico surely around him and Nico takes down the first JDM fighting back but it's not enough all of my to Nico going to town and it's once again a huge advantage of phase your off pushes the smoke and gets a kill 
even more frustrating than they currently are. And you can see there's cracks almost certainly starting to form now. Four on two, flash out, boys. Hope for the best. It will catch all off. It won't catch Nico. It actually does. I'm surprised. So Nico couldn't peek on it. That let Twist get in. Unfortunately, he couldn't get a kill when he did so. And he gets found out by Kim. He got nothing. Here we go. Deep breath. Don't even check the boost, apparently. Oh. But there it is. Nitro gets his first. And it will be Nico to find him at the same time. The deck that doesn't work out. JDM finds the third frag. Kerrigan dies in the last round. So too to see in this win. Oh, the auto sniper that gives the liquid their best chance. Except that Nico's oh. still in the back of the site. And he's got accuracy. He's got. Oh my god. Get off the server. He does not even need full ammunition. Give him a half. Give him 15. But shot JDM, wins on Guardian, they go above smoke, flash, oh the flash timing, it's almost decent because Rain, although he through the smoke, gets them and shuts it down, I was gonna say. To try and shut down phase, Guardian as well with the WB, See ya. dink dump but finds Nitro waiting at Modo and Elise, his position's gonna be found out because the timing is such that Kerrigan should immediately stare from Graveyard in the corner toward exactly where he's coming from, all to play it for. Guardian not spotting the right way, Elise not either as he thought it came from Pit, but if he wins this duel, chance to find it, not quite. 16-3 in the end. Bangs a point as well. Carrigan going to find the first break. Can't do it. Hello, Stan. Two kills for him. Twist chiming in as well. It's up to Nico to pick up the pieces now. And Twist smartly gets inside of the smoke to avoid Guardian. However, he gets behind the pillar. Nico, he steps up. Suddenly, he's down to a one-on-one. -on -one. This fight stands great start. And oh! Nico versus Elise. And Nico's got accuracy. And he snaps over again to get a headshot. Favor phase. And... Oh, Stan gets clever with a MAC-10. There's not really much he can do in the water position when they're already in the sight behind him as a liege. At least gets Nitro that by space, not against Guardian. Oh! Goes back again! Well, in the smoke, Nico will know that he is there and look to try and swing wide. Get this spray down, but can't. That actually opens up a chance for Liquid. Stan found Guardian as well. It comes to a two versus two, and there is kits for both Liquid players who go aggressive, but a liege not fast enough. Leaves JDM. It was great yesterday with the off this time, caught out by Kerrigan getting closer and closer. Hold on the scoreboard right now, needs to find a frag, it's all off Meister though, and it's just another defensive round of page. Everything covered, Nico watching the flanks, and I wish I could get excited about this half with 16. In terms of the bike, I don't know if we get it, oh my god, what has happened? Rain and Long looking for blood and he gets four headshots. It's over. The ref called it. It's been trades that have favored Liquid. If they trade equally against two players in the site, they should be able to hold it off. They go. Smoke lineup. A lineup they've got to get out of. Nico's got them sitting in the right to the trap. No. It goes to the pistol. If they lose like this, it would be a disaster. But what a play from Nico to make it a possibility. Oh, no. Damn his law. He's taking himself down. It was to the decoy, I think, or something. What was that? I'm not. A, I think you're right. That might have been a moxie and taken himself out with a decoy. JDM has the AWG in a one fire there. versus five. There was absolutely no flames. I think it was a decoy that went off. I'm not sure. We need to know. No, what's an absolutely awkward situation, <laughs> and that's it. Guardian with the scout punch. JDM. It's Nico that shuts them down. Towards the kitchen, just taking his time, having a little look. There's no kits up right now for Phase as well. They've got to go in. Tarek buying time. Nico closing in though, second by second, he gets closer and he pounces, down to rush now in the 1v2 and there he goes. Right back in they go and it's rain. Things are perfect, they can get into this site. One gets past, will the second fare so well? There's the shutdown coming in, two back to back, but Tarek is still trying to do what he can, but they're playing chicken with a fox, that's a dangerous game, but rain is the one to keep this one in check for the phase side as now he looks like a bomb to be planted soon, 30 seconds remain, Olaf Meister. Lingers around the corner. Rush. You can't tempt these guys. Olafmeister is just too quick on the trigger, and now it's automatic in the 1v2. Gets the bomb down, but the time might be off. Oh, a great shot on the first, but Reigns. Rush has one. This is still possible. It's doable. Guardian's low. He's behind Benchling and up. There's the smoke down. Guardian's made his presence known. He gets one kill. Stewie, they still can't hit him. He's only got 7 HP. Automatic does get Rain in there. He's finally taken down. They have to get on the smoke. Oh, Nico's here with the knife. He's stepping away. It's not happening. It's doing the damage. But Conrad, no, it's gonna blow. With armor, but that's a factor when you consider how low they are. And then Twist, who's trying to get close enough to get the pistol into effect. He's the one that gets the bait off of this. He's crossed down. He knows where he is. Rain's got the hard part done. Elise, it would take one bullet. 51, it would take one the other way as well if he's not careful. So he still has something to consider. Elise does not have a kick. For the oh my shows. God. And Rain pulls back the round. <laughs> All you can do is fist bump at that point for Team Liquid. A three versus one situation. It seemed like you got back into it. Enough to make this a competitive game at least. But what a play from that in Rain. My lord, that's something quite special. Three versus one. And a Twist could be a threat. Kerrigan seems to think they're 
Or at least know that they're there, but when they go for the reload, that's when they strike good trade. At least needs to double it if they want any chance, and that's gone. This makes problems worse because JDM gets smoked off, backed away, and FaZe continue to apply the pressure. Off through the window, gets one, gets traded out, a bomb planted, and again, there is no kits, an MP9. And a Nico well in the way as he goes back to Sandwich. I don't know how they do this. How are they going to pull this one out? They've got smokes and flashbangs, that's about it. And the nades rain. The arsenal toward the firebox in hope of a kill. All in in one position, and Guardian makes it just nice trying to find the flash! And Nico fittingly gets the last kill as FaZe dominate New York in 2017 in the Barclays Center all the way through this tournament. They've looked so, so good. Guardian's done this before, Olaf joins him. Previous result with the lineup, it was a good result. We had four finals in a row, five top four, um, but there was something missing. And I think we found the missing piece in, um, in Guardian and all of Meister. So I'm, I'm so glad that FaZe could bring them on board.